So with parts of the government apparently shut down until at least next week, it is federal workers, D.C. taxpayers and tourists really who are paying the price. 380,000 federal workers are currently furloughed. They are likely to receive back pay, but not until Congress reaches a budget deal. The remaining 420,000 federal workers deemed essential, they remain on the job, although they won't get paid until the shutdown ends. Now, during the shutdown, the D.C. government is picking up the slack on some federal services, like collecting trash on the National Mall, all paid for by D.C. taxpayers. John Henry reports the city is doing whatever it takes to keep its parks hospitable to tourists and locals. If you spent any time in the National Mall Thursday, you might have noticed something out of the ordinary. Lines to go to the bathroom. These porta johns around the Lincoln Memorial are needed because the normal bathrooms are closed down due to the shutdown. Now at this point, tourists we talked to haven't seemed too inconvenienced by the stalemate on Capitol Hill. Just minimal effect. Uh, we've uh, only just missed the visitor center at the White House. But the big challenge is making sure things stay that way. That's where a few local groups have stepped in. The first being D.C. government. If you were on the mall today, you may have noticed a few overflowing trash bins. But D.C. is doing its best to keep that to a minimum. The city will spend $46,000 a week to collect trash at 126 national parks in our area. That's almost the equivalent to the foundation level or cost of providing public education services to four DCPS students a year. Now what we don't know is if DC will get that money back, something that was on the table during the January shutdown. We expect to um, be able to segregate the cost uh, related to the federal properties uh, and uh, seek reimbursement from the federal government when the time is, comes. That said, groups like the Capitol Hill Business Improvement District are also stepping in to help. They announced plans to expand their clean team services in and around several neighborhood parks normally managed by the National Park Service. They say it's a no-brainer to pick up the trash in the Fed's absence. We feel maintaining the cleanliness of national park areas is critical to the overall well-being of the Capitol Hill area. John Henry, WUSA 9. D.C.'s monuments and memorials remain open, but many gift shops and other buildings run by the National Park Service are closed. The Smithsonian Museums and the National Zoo will stay open until January 1st but it's unclear what's gonna happen after that.